Right guys, it's Ash here bringing you episode 10 of the Road to Men in Black. As you can see, getting double figures here on this series and getting closer to the end of the series. As you see, I go into, I go into a match where I play some of a beast team with some informed, like informed bar Barry Ox, he's got normal Cagwas, so he's got a beast team going there. We we'll actually take a 1 0 lead when I get bar, bar and then finesse it in. Nice little finesse there, making it 1 0. And this dude just comes back at me with his beast informs and then he makes it 1 1 with a nice little goal there. And then from here on in, he's kind of, I was kind of dominating, but then somehow he gets a goal with Eduardo, which is pretty frustrating for me. But I just had to I just had to take on the chin and then go and score with Denver Bar to equalise. So I was trying to come back at him and then actually take the lead now. So with this dude knew I was, I mean, I meant business. But then he actually, he actually gets a really lucky goal here. And then this really just affected, I really knocked my confidence down. And this goal started flying really. He's just get, I'll get a lucky rebound there. And it's just the goal, uh, he just started to get about rebounds and stuff like that. And then Bart, as you see, then Bart actually equalises with a header. And this game is just getting like a goal thriller here. But he actually goes to score with Cagra. And then he goes to scores right after that with Barrios. So he wasn't really going the best for me here. And I actually ended up losing 6 5 in the end, which is very frustrating. But. I just have to ca take that and just have to carry on. So then I just go into uh, go into another game where I've got to play someone who has a gold team. We have a bronze right back who plays for Arsenal. So I don't know if he's done that because of pace. Because I don't see why else. I know he wouldn't sort of trap, but I don't, wouldn't see why else unless he ran out of money or something. Well, I actually take one in the lead, as you can see, with Oldham Wingate getting the, get the lead, and then I'll go and get another goal, Tuncho, to make it two 0 and then I actually ended up winning this game to comfortably. Nice little victory there. wasn't really threatened throughout that game. And after this, I've re I got after this, I consider my options to get another centre back in form. Obviously, try and help my defence grow and strengthen and get closer to the end. So I go and be on a hiding guy for sixteen thousand two hundred fifty coins, and actually end up getting him. And you will see that I start mixing the team round. I started putting people on the bench, starting to mix his make they fit him in that team. And then you will see there's actually. I've only got to two places left really, so it's not as if there's long left till the end of this series. But uh, as you see, I'm starting to go into another game. In this next game, I go into, I go into a match where I place someone who's got five at the back with the tank who is at Vanovich in the middle. So obviously he meant business when he's got a Vanovich in the middle, some beast who just outstrims most people and you can even catch people. But actually I 1-0 up when McCarthy does a nice little drill shot past his keeper. I didn't really have any chance. And then I'll actually go and take a 2 0 lead with Denver Bar, who just is just our goal scorer, always comes in to get the goals. And then from here on in, I just go and take control and go and make it 3 0 with Oldham Wingate. He, he, he and Bar just always seem to be on the score sheet. I end up winning 3 0, as you could see. It's getting another victory under our record and starting to get a beat, getting the record better after we had a poor start in the series. So the record's getting a little better. So I'm going to go and search for another game and I come up against a dude who's got a BPL team with some good players to be fair. He's got Suarez, Cam I think it is, he's got Nasri as well, so he's got, he's got an alright team. I think it's a storage as well and Lukaku is just uh, really overpowered and this is coming from a Chelsea fan but he's really overpowered. And this dude actually takes a 1-0 lead with a kind of lucky goal from Suarez after a couple of deflections. And then he goes and gets another goal with Lukaku, who's, like I mentioned, overpowered, just wins everything and even outpaces his players. And then, as you can see, he goes and gets another goal with Lukaku, so he's just really taking this game away from me here, 3-0. But then I stepped it up, and Demabar just coming into the game, Demabar goes and scores, just trying to get me a goal back. And then, after this, really, I was trying to kind of get the momentum with me, kind of scripting from me, but yeah, get the momentum with me. And Demabar goes and scores, gets the gets second, and then he actually goes to scores again, so... The pressure is really on this dude now. He's starting to feel it, and I'm starting to feel confident, confident about coming back. But then my confidence kind of went when he went and scored with Lukaku to frustrate me, get Lukaku's hat trick, and then from here on in, he just went and frustrated me more when he went and scored with Nasri, and I just knew I couldn't really catch him up. But I did actually score a really beast free kick, as you've seen a moment, just an amazing free kick, left foot. I think it was with Pavlochenko as well, one of them 
the ones where you're using the other player's stats like a kind of glitch a beast free kick and just keep watching the replays because that is just absolutely amazing the curve on that is immense i think that deserved to equalize but i didn't and i ended up actually losing 5-4 very frustrating so i honestly thought i played the better of the two of us two but obviously that's not how it works out it's just an end day who can take their chances and who can get the goals so anyway, get going to like the last game of this episode now. And come up against a dude who's got informed Loris in goal. And as we all know about him, he's an absolute tank. But this game, he must have been a beast because there was nothing happened. Just nothing. The defence stopped me. And I wanted to go to extra time. But this dude, Pussy Day, he must have had something to do. Because he just ended it as a draw. And I couldn't do anything about that. He just, want, he just wanted to go. But anyway, I hope you like this episode, lads. If... If you want me to come up, I'm considering another series of this, but doing a different league. So, if you want me to do, carry this on, just comment um, comment the league that you want me to do. And then, if we get like, over eight comments of different leagues, I will consider doing another series. And also, please subscribe if you haven't already to help our channel grow. It really helps us a lot. Me and Dan are grateful for every one of our subs. And anyway, peace out.